In this video, I'll be sharing with you six tips and tricks for Kid and Live. Let's jump right into it. Starting with the transform effect improvements. Now this one is more of a bit of news, but it also comes with a new feature. The transform effect now includes a monitor grid, which you can activate over here on the right of your monitor. It has snapping enabled as well. You can change the grid size in settings. If you go into your menu bar inside of settings down to configure kid and live and go inside of colors and guides and you have the monitor grid you must have edit mode enabled to access the grid. Also, if you have multiple clips overlapping on the timeline, each with a transform effect or active built-in transform, you can directly select the clips from the monitor overlay. So as you can see here, I have these different shapes and I can simply alt left click and grab them directly on the monitor. Moving on to timeline nesting or sequences. One way to look at sequences in Kid and Live is as follows. You have a timeline with clips of all sorts, cuts everywhere, effects, transitions, etc. The timeline is considered as a sequence in Kid and Live. You can create new sequences, so new timelines, by going to the menu bar inside of Project, Add Sequence. This new sequence is a new timeline. You can import the first sequence or timeline into the new sequence and vice versa. You can also grab parts of your current timeline or individual clips and create a new sequence from the selection. This will create a new timeline from your selection, similar to Premiere or Final Cut. This leaves you with a singular clip or sequence with your designated content. You can rename the original sequence, but you cannot delete it unless you create another sequence. And if you want, you can also create a hotkey for creating new sequences. Simply go to the menu bar inside of settings and go to configure keyboard shortcuts and search for sequence. The rest is easy. Moving on, we have more easing modes. In other words, we have different keyframe interpolations. In addition to the existing easing modes, they've added several new options like the cubic in and out, the exponential in and out, circular in and out, etc. You can visualize the easing modes by looking at the curves. Click here to toggle between the curves and keyframes. Here we have cubic in, cubic out, exponential in, exponential out, so on and so forth. Moving on. Next, we have online resources. Kdenlive offers direct access to various online resources for images, videos, and audio. An internet connection is required, of course. You can access the online resources by going in your menu bar inside of View, Online Resources. A few included services are Pixels and Pixabay's videos and images, Internet Archived Movies, and Free Sound for Free Sounds. You might need to create an account to access Free Sound freely, but that depends. You can type and search for what you're looking for. You can either preview it or download the assets. The faster your internet connection, the faster this will go. Next, we're going to be looking at markers versus guides. Now, Kid and Live allows you to create both markers and guides. What's the difference? Well, guides are static on the timeline and can be either stationary or moved when clips are moved around. Markers are inside the clips and move with the clips. So guides go on the timeline and markers go inside of the clips themselves. You can move guides with the spacer tool, but make sure to unlock them first. Either go to the menu bar inside of Timeline, Guides, and Guides Lock, or right-click on the top of the timeline, and there you can lock or unlock the guides. Markers are clip-related and fixed to the clip. When you put the same clip again on the timeline, and you change a marker, this marker is changed on both clips simultaneously. Now, you can add guides using the keyboard shortcut G, or you can go to the menu bar inside of Timeline, Guides. You'll have several options here. As for markers, you can add markers either with the numpad star or go to the menu bar inside of Clips, Markers, Add Marker. And you have a few more options here as well. You can also change the hotkeys in the keyboard shortcut settings. Over in Settings, Configure Keyboard Shortcuts. Lastly, we have Find Action. This feature allows you to search for any command or action available inside of Kid and Live. You'll find it in the menu bar inside of Help, Find Action, or use the hotkeys Control Alt plus I. Simply enter the term that you're looking for, and then select the command or action that you'd like to execute. Kid and Live uses fuzzy search and look ahead search so that every character that you type in changes the results that you get on the fly. So stay tuned for more tips and tricks, and you can click on this playlist here to learn more about Kid and Live.